Hi, I'm Mark Camosio and I'm here to show you the latest Crossman Redtail. Um, this is uh, quite a distinctive little rifle and it comes in at 189 pounds, including a 3 to 9 by 40 scope and mounts. Um, so it's very keenly priced. Uh, it's a gas ram model, so um, where you've got your normal brake barrel action, your, um, where you'd normally compress a mainspring inside, you've actually got a um, gas ram or gas strut, which is a, a sealed chamber of air or gas, um, and you're compressing that as you cock the action. And then when the action fires, it's still conventional air, which is propelling the pellet. But uh, it's a particularly smooth um, rifle, this. And um, as I say, it comes in at a very keen price. You're getting this scope and one piece mount uh, all in on the price. Um, a one-piece mount, <coughs> there is quite a um, bit of recoil with, with any um, spring piston or gas ram rifle and uh, the, best, the best mode is always a one-piece mount, ideally, and here the, you've got a, a rest of pins that even connect to the cylinder as well, so it's, uh, it's, um, to get that all in on with the scope, is, uh, with the package is quite good and you're all ready to go. Uh, it's quite a nice synthetic stock uh, with a thin down grip and um, the, the textured finish is very nice too. There's plenty of grip to it, but it, and it doesn't feel sort of plasticky um, in itself. So it's all, um, it's all very nice to, uh, to feel and um, it works rather well. You've got in the top front here, there, obviously that's where it gets its name uh, with these plastic red inserts, but there's also some expansion chambers um, in there. So it is actually doing a bit of a sound suppression job as well, um, which is quite nice. Uh, two-stage trigger here. Um, on this um, level of rifle, they're fairly basic, but I have to say it's quite a pleasant trigger in use here. Uh, a little bit of creep, but it's quite smooth. Um, this one is actually manufactured in 2.2 only, um, which is what they're, they're sort of marketing at the moment, but um, they may well come out with another calibre. Uh, it's six and a quarter pounds, so again, it's fairly lightweight and um, that's quite handy if you're either new to the sport or you just want something um, that bit lighter and more manageable. Um, on test, this one did around uh, about 10.2 foot-pounds and I used um, Air Arm Diablo field pellets. Um, I, stuck to sort of, I tested various pellets, but as usual, I tend to arrive at some of the quality brands for that final bit of accuracy. Uh, but it was around the 10, 10 and a half foot pounds with a, a variety of pellets and I managed um, three, quarter of inch, <coughs> three quarter inch groups uh, at uh, 25 yards with this so um, it's pretty good. Uh, but as I say the action is quite smooth, we'll just cock it up now. Just needs a little jolt to open it all the way down, it's a very very easy cocking action. Um, which compares very favourably to some of the rifles on the market. Just push your pellet home, always push it nice and flush so you're not going to damage any breech seals. Lock it up and on here it's a manual safety so I haven't got to worry about that which I prefer personally because I think it's unsafe keeping a shot in tow. Um, and then you're ready to go so we'll just fire this off. Now there is some uh, movement obviously with the action but it's, it's incredibly mild and smooth um, and definitely one of the best gas rams that I've shot in a long while. Obviously everyone's using the original design from Theoden um, but not everyone's getting it right as such with uh, sort of more harsh actions etc than maybe they should be but this is very mild and very pleasant to shoot um, so I was quite impressed with that. So that's the Crossman Redtail.